you heard there was Steve Miller Band's The Joker. In today's lesson, we're going to check out the chords, the strumming pattern, and spend some time playing it together. So get yourself tuned up, and let's play The Joker. Hey, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that alert bell so you know when the next video is coming your way. If you're interested in more learning resources, head over to allforyouk.com where we have a full searchable library of songs, song sheets, practice tracks, worksheets, and more. All for you, allforyouk.com. All right, so let's check out the chords that we need here. So the first chord I want to show you is an F chord. So the F chord is played with our middle finger here on the G string second fret index on the E string of the first fret. The next chord is a B flat chord. I know you've come across this one before, and this song is a perfect opportunity to start working on this shape. So the B flat chord is played with our ring finger here on the G string third fret, middle finger on the C string of the second fret, and then we use our index finger to bar the bottom two strings of the first fret. So that sounds like this. Little tip here, try to keep your thumb behind your index finger on the neck so that you really create a good pressure point. And that's, you should hear all those strings ringing out nice and clear when you play that B flat chord. If you're not, try to make sure that you're really getting this index finger flat. If you see any hump in it, you're gonna kind of lose that bottom note. So there's your B flat chord. And then our C chord, we're gonna use this exact same shape because you've played enough C chords like this. And this C chord is gonna work a lot better here with our B flat chord. So we're gonna take this B flat shape and we're gonna shift it up so that our ring finger is now on the fifth fret, middle finger on the fourth, and our index across the bottom two strings in the third. So that chord sounds like this. So a lot of the moves that you're gonna be making in this song go between B flat and C with this bar chord shape. So that's a good exercise if you're working on this song, just to focus on practicing going between the B flat and the C chord quite a few times. So the last chord here, which just kind of happens at the end of each verse section, is this little variation of the B flat. So we have our normal B flat chord here. And all we do is we remove our middle finger and we turn this into a B flat sus two. So that's only gonna happen in the verse and the chorus a couple times on the B flat chord. So those are the chords and the shapes that we need for this entire song. So let's get into the strumming pattern and the sections. All right, so now I'm gonna demonstrate the verse for you really quick and then we're gonna talk about the strumming pattern. So here we go. All right, so the strumming pattern that I'm using here, I'm gonna give you two options. I'll give you an easier version and then I'll give you one that has a little bit more intricate thing happening here. So the first version of it is just down, down, mute. So when we play that strumming pattern, I'm just holding an F chord here. I strum down with my index finger, then down again. And then to do the mute, I take my ring finger which is my extra finger here, and I lay that across the strings so that I get a dead end sound. When you do that, you can use all down strums that entire time. So it would be down, down, mute. Then you switch to the B flat chord, down, down, mute. Now the cool thing about playing bar chords here, and there's very few cool things about bar chords, but one of them is when you're muting, you can actually just lift the chord and keep touching the strings so that they make a dead end sound. So when you have them compressed, they ring out. When you don't have any pressure on the strings and you're just touching them, it stops the vibration so that when you strum, you get this muted sound. So I play the F, down, down, mute, switch to B flat, down, down, mute. Then I take this B flat chord, move it up to C and do down, down, mute. Then we move back to B flat. So that's the simplified version of the strum. So you're welcome to use that throughout the song. If the bar chords are giving you enough trouble, why make the strum any more challenging? Keep with a simple rhythm as you're doing this. So that's one variation of doing it. Now the other way, which I think kind of adds a little bit more rhythmic structure to this is down, down, mute, mute, mute. So how do I do that? Well, the first part of it is exactly the same. I start with down, down, mute, 
And then I have this little pickup into the next chord where I do down up. So it's down, down, mute, down up. Down, down, mute, down up. So let's try that together just using an F chord just so we can kind of work on this strumming pattern a little bit throughout the song. So one, two, three, four. Down, down, mute, down, up. Down, down, mute, down, up. Down, down, mute, down, up. So use that throughout the majority of the entire song. And I'm going to show you this little variation that happens here when we get to the B flat chord. So the only other strumming variation that we have to worry about here in the verse is this. So I'm taking the B flat chord here and I'm just strumming down, up, down, up. And then I remove my middle finger and this is where I talked about the B flat suspended two chord. I just take my middle finger off and I do another down, up, down, up. Let me just show you this really slow here. We'll go through just one little line here of the verse. It's down, down, mute, down, up. Down, down, mute, down, up, down, down, mute, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and repeat. So that's what we need for the verse section. Now let's get into the chorus. If you're digging the sound of my uke, head over to allforuke.com slash shop. You can have a Kala ukulele for yourself. When you buy your Kala ukulele through All For Uke, you're supporting us and we really appreciate it. Make sure you check it out. Concerts, sopranos, tenors, baritones, a wide selection of accessories, capos, and more. All For You, allforuke.com slash shop. All right, so now I'm gonna play a couple lines of the chorus here so you can hear what this sounds like and then we'll do it together. So one, two, three, four. I'm a picker, I'm a grinner, I'm a lover, I'm a sinner. I play my music in the sun. So, cool thing about this, no new chords. It's just a little different order here. So. Basically what happens is we go back and forth between F and B flat. So we do, I'm a picker to B flat. I'm a grinner. I'm a lover. I'm a sinner. So back and forth between F and B flat. And then we do the same progression that we do for the verse, which is F, B flat, C, B flat, B sus. So pretty simple form here. So I feel like just kind of going through that a couple times and you'll be able to grasp those chord moves. Let's try that together nice and slow. So you can kind of go through the same strumming pattern. You can either use the simplified or the more intricate strum here. So here is the chorus. Two, three, four. Down, down, mute. Down, down, mute. Down, up, down, down, mute. Down, up, down, down, mute. Then F. B flat, C. All right, so it's time to play this one together. We're gonna briefly just go through the chords one time before we start the singing, but we're just gonna do the first two verses and the chorus together so you get a really good feel for this. Here we go. One, two, three, intro. Here we go. Some people call me the Space Cowboy Some call me the Gangster Love Some people call me Maurice You know the cue I speak of a pompatis of love People talk about me, baby they said I'm doing you wrong Well don't you worry pretty baby No don't you worry Cause I'm a right here, right here, right here Right here at home To the chorus Cause I'm a picker I'm a grinner I'm a lover I'm a sinner I play my music in the sun 
I'm a joker, I'm a smoker, I'm a midnight toker. I get my loving on the run. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the new chair. And I hope you guys had fun playing Steve Miller Band's The Joker. We worked on some bar chords. We worked on a muted strumming pattern. So these techniques are really going to help push your playing to that next level if you're looking to get there. And I want to also mention we have a song sheet put together for this one. You can check it out on the All For Uke website. Leave your comments below. Let me know where you're playing your uke. Let me know if you have any other songs in this you know, vibe that you really want to learn on the ukulele. I'd love to help you out with that. My name's Kevin. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Let's get carried